everyone, it's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft and I've got a very quick process video for you. And it's so quick because I'm using this 49 and Market pattern paper, which already has this pre-printed background on it with the sunflowers. And I knew when I saw this kit that I got as part of a prize pack from the scrap room, I used a coupon to purchase it. Um, I knew it was gonna be perfect for these photos that I had taken over the, during the fall of my daughter and I in front of a field of sunflowers. But I didn't wanna cover up much of the background. I wanted those sunflowers in the background to be showing. So um, what I'm gonna do is use circles. I'm gonna cut my photos down into two circles. The one with me in it is gonna be a little bit bigger than the one with my daughter in it. Um, and I'm using my Creative Memories circle cutter system to help me figure out the sizes. And then I'm going to create a circle, a circular shape that incorporates those big sunflowers on the pattern paper. But I'm going to link it all, link the photos and those printed sunflowers with embellishments. So this is something that I've done before. Um, it's a great way to use a circle shape on your layout. I also have a playlist uh, all about using different ways to use circles on your scrapbook layouts if you wanna check that out. Um, and I hope that you enjoy this video. And if it is inspiring to you, I hope that you give it a thumbs up and uh, click that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for being here. And uh, let me know down in the comments that you're here. Say hi. So I originally thought about cutting, I had two sort of rectangular embellishment pieces. And I think most of the embellishments are part of this 49 and Market collection that I got through the scrap room. I'm adding in a couple other things from, I want to say, Paige Evans or Pink Paisley. And then I actually, um, that, that sticker I just put down there, um, that's from a spring collection from Echo Park. And it originally said like, happy spring at the bottom. I just cut that part off because it's not spring, it's fall when these photos were taken. But I liked the fresh flowers sentiment because we're right by the flowers. So I basically went through my stash and found anything that could be flowery. And that's where I got the um, Paige Evans pink paisley stickers. I can't remember. I get them confused. I know I've said that before. Um, but there's like a garden shop, a flower stand, um, a bicycle with some flowers in the basket, a truck with some flowers. Um, so yeah, this is just all stuff from my stash to kind of build everything out a little bit. Uh, I'm inking the edges with my black ink pad, which it has come to my attention probably needs to be replaced because I was trying to do some stamping with it for a birthday card earlier today. And, um, the, the center of it is not really producing a lot of ink. So my happy birthday sentiment was a little, uh, sort of like an ombre effect going a little bit light to dark <laughs> as it went from happy on top and birthday on the bottom, which is fine, but I probably should uh, get myself a new black ink pad because I've had it for a long time. I don't know how long your ink pads last, um, but I guess it probably depends on usage. <laughs> if you use it every day, um, well, I, that maybe not because I was going to say if, I, if you don't use it, it's probably going to dry out, but if you do use it, it's not going to dry out, but you are going to use all the ink, so... Hmm. I wonder if there's, I wonder if that's true. Let me know down in the comments if you use ink pads a lot and how long they last for you based on your usage. Um, so I was actually, this is also for a paper issues bingo card challenge this month. I had a bingo score that said to use a circle. So I've got plenty of circles on here for that um, with the two photos and then this overall shape. I originally had thought maybe I was going to hand draw a circle so that you would see some lines going on behind the embellishments. But a lot of my embellishments were just really, really big. And so they would have covered up the hand drawn circle anyway. So I did not do anything like that. In order to do a hand drawn circle, I probably would have needed to bring like a dinner plate down into my scrap room to trace that um, because I there's no way that I could freehand a big circle like that. It would look really bad. Um, and I don't have like a large circle stencil thing. So a dinner plate is what I would have had to use. And I, I'm too lazy for that, especially if I'm already down in my scrap room and I'm like, oh, I have to go back and get something. Nope, just not going to do it because it's just not worth my time. Um, so yeah, I just made a circle with the embellishments, no hand drawn, but you could definitely do that yourself if you wanted to. A lot of people do stitching. I don't have a sewing machine and I don't want to hand stitch either on a layout. Um, but the stitching, I love the way stitching looks on a scrapbook layout. So if you have a sewing machine and you want to 
give a, a stitched stir, a stitched circle to try, by all means, go ahead. If you guys try this type of look on your scrapbook layout, let me know uh, where I can find it. If it's on your YouTube channel, your Instagram, your Twitter, whatever, um, all of my links are below so you can find me there as well. And I would love to connect with you too. I'm putting in a little bit of journaling there. I've got everything stuck down. I've Back to my, my lovely double-sided adhesive squares. I finally went to Michael's over the Easter weekend and got two boxes of adhesive squares and a new box of glue dots. So I am set at least for a little while. Um, and now I'm just adding in a few extra little sticker pieces here to just kind of um, bring the embellished circle um, to kind of build it out a little bit, just kind of finding those negative space corners and um, just adding a few more things. Most of them are fallish things. So there are some pretty leaves that went along with those um, stickers that I added to this collection. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to make it a little bit more built out, uh, give it more of a, a fall feel to go with these photos. Uh, real quick, these photos were taken at a local farm uh, in our town. You could do um, pick your own sunflowers as well. I don't think we picked our own sunflowers. We were there during like a fall fest day. So they had a lot of other activities going on. But I saw this door out in the field and I was like, we have to take our picture. So it was just the two of us. So I took her picture and then I asked her to take my picture and I was not sure what it was gonna turn out like. She has a tendency to not really look through the camera screen um, and to also push the camera down, but the picture came out great. So I was very happy with it. And here it is scrapbooked in the close up, so you can see things in a little more detail, lots of great dimension and chipboard pieces on here, as well as the flat circles. I hope that this was inspiring for you. Like I said before, um, leave me a comment down below, letting me know that you stopped by. And if you have any questions, leave those down below too. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.